Here we are on a nice fine Saturday morning, looking at a bag of sugar for feeding our bees, just in case. I'm going to go up there later this morning and see how they're doing, and we'll go from there, folks. Well, it's uh, 10 pounds of sugar, and one gallon and one quart of water. And from there, we'll bring it to a boil, rapid boil, shut off the gas, put the sugar in, and stir it up. And we'll go from there. All right, you have a good day now, folks. We'll see you a little bit later this morning. Bye now. Saturday afternoon hive inspection. Got a few ants down there. Hive number one. As you can see, we're pretty close to the trains. Hive number three. We got bees coming in and out. Still looks like they're bringing in the nectar flow and the pollen flow. I'm here to make sure we got enough sugar water. Saturday. And we'll go from there. Thanks a lot, folks. How you doing, folks? Back here on a fine Sunday afternoon. And we found out yesterday, Saturday, that both top feeders on hive number two and number three were empty. So uh, I made up a batch yesterday and I made it and I made another batch this morning and we'll see how things go. But it looks like they're bringing in plenty of pollen things like that. So basically all I'm going to do in hive number three is open it up, see how she's doing, maybe pull a couple frames out, <clears throat> and on hive number two do the same thing. See how much cap tunny we have. And then hive number one I believe we're going to try the same thing. I might go down to the third deep and see if we got how much capped honey we have. This is the second week of August. And uh, come the next few weeks we'll be pulling off our last amounts. And we'll go from there. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. Recording hive number three. Looks like on a far end they're bringing in pollen stuff. Look at that folks. I filled that top feeder with a gallon of fluid in there. I bet you I barely got a quart, quarter, a half a quarter of a gallon of a gallon left. They actually chowed down on that stuff. It's quite unbelievable how quickly they went through it. In one day. Wow. That's a bunch of hungry bees. 
So I'm here to fill them up again. It looks like I'm gonna have to have my buddy refill it come tomorrow. Oh boy though. Until then we'll talk. Well folks, looking at the pack of hive number two. Hive number two is basically empty on uh, liquids again too. Probably maybe less than half a gallon. Hive number one. We got four supers on there. We'll probably get maybe total maybe a three full ones maybe. Some of them are capped, some aren't capped. But they sure do look pretty. And uh, I got stung in the thumb. Of all things. Went through the, through the little glove. I must have pinched them. But it hurt more than my like, getting stung in the nose. I could guarantee you that right now. So that's about it. We put some more fluids in. I'm going to have to tell my buddy to get some more out here for hive number three and number two. But that's about it from the hives. I went all the way down, all the way down to the screen uh, excluder. And uh, this one here is basically full. I'm a mostly capped. Uh, the second one has got some capped. Some of the boards aren't even touched, like the brand new boards that I had. The bees are just like almost absolutely refusing to build on it. Only when they have to will they do it. So I have to figure out what's going on there. So, but other than that, we'll see how big my thumb gets. And then we'll go from there. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Here on uh, Saturday, I think it's August 31st, I believe. Doing a little hive inspection. Gonna add a little sugar water to hive number three and uh, hive number two. Hive number one, still we have three supers on there. We pulled uh, the first round was 21 pounds. The second round, which was uh, I believe two weeks ago, we got out uh, 30, 34, 35 pounds, I think my friend was saying. I believe so far we're up to about 55 pounds of honey. So far, like I said, hive number one is doing really good. And they're actually sitting out on the front porch there. Had the mouse guards on all year because of the fact of where we're at is basically a, a sub forest. So, at least in hive number one and two, or two and yeah, number one and two, hive number three is doesn't have a mouse guard on it as of yet. I think in the next week or so we'll be doing that. Hive number two. So a lot of bees are buzzing, that's for sure. They might be doing a GPS in there, I bet. These guys here. They're all flying about. All in front of the place. We did when we did pull that off there was we had to move the queen down because we had the queen excluder up above there. Go from there, folks. Uh, further inspection 
putting water in both hive number two and number three. And I'm in question whether or not we shall get any more honey this year or not. I checked hive number three here. Top two supers and it looks like they're just not interested in capping any honey so far. So but I guess what we have gotten off the hive for first year beekeepers is pretty good. And uh, this is not the site where it will be. they will actually be lined up over here by hive number three for next year. And a few more actually. By the table. The way my friend wants to go, he wants to have five hives back here next year. So we'll see, we'll soon see how it all turns out. But uh, other than that, folks, here they are at hive number one again, just gathering on the outside there. from there. Like I said, I think kind of number two here is a lot of bees just GPSing themselves. There's a lot of new bees buzzing right in front. on the hive, take off from the hive, crawl in and out of the hive. <clears throat> okay folks, till next week, take it easy now, have a good Labor Day weekend. Bye bye now. Well, so you want to become a beekeeper, huh? Well, we just spent the last two and a half hours cleaning all the boxes, scraping them, and all that other good stuff. So, just getting ready for next year. We'll probably have to repower wash them next year. And then uh, go ahead and give them a nice fresh coat of paint. As you see, several boxes. We'd like to paint them this year, but uh, I don't know. I think next year would be a better bet. We'd power wash them. But uh, so far, we got a refractor. Our honey taste at uh, one sample was at 19%, 19.6% right on a high level. And the rest of it we have in the basement checks it right at 20%. So we're going to try and dehumidify it. Okay, take it easy. Bye. Get a stick or something. Stick? Not that big. Break it off a little. Here we are at the end of the season, feeding them some sugar water. Hive number one, hive number two, hive number three. Although we tried to install a, a mouse guard on hive number three, but as we're going to find out right now, oh, there are not that many out there. They didn't like it at first. Matter, no. of fact, matter of fact, they hated us for putting it on there. But they're all taking sugar. There's hive number two. 
We should probably send some of these guys out and have them tested, Chief. Look at that one's got sugar all over them. Yeah, it did freeze last night, huh? I see a little frost on the bees or sugar buildup. I got no way of grabbing them. Oh, it'll heat up. It'll warm up enough today. Let that sun out. Yeah, but they're trapped in there. Well, no. well, they'll get out sooner or later. Yeah, they'll die. There's no way for them to get out of here. Oh, okay. Out of the top. Hmm. Well, maybe we should do the nice thing and shoo them out or something. We need like a spatula, a flipper, so you just flip them, flip them on out. See if they'll climb on the stick at all. Well, that don't look like that's going to work. That's just going to make them mad. As you see, it is a nice, beautiful day. It's going to be very early yet. And from here, folks, we've run out of time on our disc. So from the 2013 season, the Apri Loon Lake Apri. <laughs> 